Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, video. Much needed on Jasmine. All right. A little bit late even. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but yesterday morning, we, we really started rallying. We're already bullish before that. I mean, I was I was looking at Jasmine in the last couple of days. Um, Jasmine is obviously a crypto I have, I have covered for, for a long time already. Some of you might even remember me covering the, the Coinbase listing of Jasmine, um, which was all the way back in... Um, 2021 i believe um so yeah two and a half years ago or some but jasmine has been very bullish all right and that's why we're covering it um like i said technically we were already bullish with uh, with the increased bullish momentum right here and a few spikes i mean it's it's true that jasmine is a is a little bit shady sometimes in terms of price movements uh, most of you will know that um you can see for example that if you look at the volume most of the volume is coming from BitTrue, XT.com, BitDump, Binance. So that's that's fine. Uh, but this is not a normal volume distribution, all right? They're also affiliated with DWF Labs, which has a bit of a history of uh, of, uh, of crypto spikes, pumps, and dumps sometimes as well. Uh, however, and most of you are probably screaming behind your blockchain already, or behind your blockchain, uh, behind your computer, there was also very positive news, all right? And I think that's the main cataclyst um of what's happening right now and if you look at what's uh, what's going on and i'm not sure if i can actually look at this right here um well starknet is actually listing today but no if you look at the news yesterday i think we got some news about uh, about japan um they've approved a proposal that it would allow J japanese venture capital firms to invest in projects that only issue cryptocurrencies bullish um, which crypto is the biggest crypto from Japan. And it's also doing some great fundamental stuff, by the way, let's be honest. It's Jasmine, all right? So a lot of bullish momentum. So what does that mean? Um, I think for that, we need to zoom out to the daily time frame because on the daily time frame, you'll realize how strong and how important the level is we're at right now. And that's this level right here at 0 0.85 cents. You can see that if that actually holds as a support right now, it's most likely will rally up another, well, I'm not sure how, mu how much it is, but another like 20, 30% um, from the current levels. We can actually do that. But it is absolutely key that we hold that support level then, all right? So the main support level, I would say, is right here around 0 0.82 and 0 0.85 cents. We're looking at the daily time frame right now, the four hour time frame so far, has been able to hold that level. Uh, but that is the most important part, all right? If Jasmine is able to hold that level on the daily time frame, I would say that, you know, we might get a big spike down at some point of time due to the markets being quite over leveraged right now. But overall, I would expect us to hold this, maybe consolidate a bit, but eventually get up to 1.1 cents and get above 1 cent again. Um, so up to 1.1, 1.15 and 1.2. And... Look, I mean, like I said, I mean, if you if, if you look at Jasmine historically, um, you'll see that we have had strong moves and we've had a lot of bullish momentum in the past. Um, sometimes that has resulted in a lot of bearish momentum. Right here, it was because of Binance. So trading Jasmine is risky is what I'm trying to say. But I would think that this is most likely. Now, like I said, funding rates are high. We're going to get a flush. Um, but even with that flush, I think Jasmine would recover pretty quickly um recover above the support level at 0 0.85 and 0 0.82 cents and then hold it as support so i think this is most likely but in general the the main thing we have to watch for now is that daily candle close because if that closes below 0 0.85 cents then this is just all one big spike and then i still do think that jasmine will stay bullish but i'm not sure how bullish we can actually stay if we get a bearish breakout right now maybe something like this all right um so yeah, pretty bullish on Jasmine right now. Now you know what's going on, what I expect from the price. Like I said, also expect um, a pretty big spike at some point of time. You can also see for Jasmine, for example, um, right now that the open interest has increased a ton. So what that means is that Jasmine is also getting pretty over leveraged. Know that, as long as you know that, you're fine, right? But for now, that's what you need to know. This is what I expect. This is what I think is most likely. Um, but it does depend a lot on how we react to 0 0.85 and 0 0.83 cents and whether we are able to hold that as support. Those are my thoughts. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, there you can also find more info on my uh, premium and, and signal group. Very valuable, but that's up to you to check out. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.